According to Surah Al-Nahl, Allah has sent messengers to every single nation in the world. And he sent the Prophet Elias to a place called Baal Bag. That's in Lebanon. And he had a cousin who believed in him. And he was his companion. That cousin is the Prophet Elias. But he wasn't a prophet yet. So, the people of Baal Bag used to worship a statue called Baal. So one day, the Prophet Elias gathered the people and invited them to worship in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. So let's see the exact words he said from the Quran Karim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, When he said to his people, Do you not fear? Do you worship Baal and abandon the best of the creators? Allah is your Lord and the Lord of your forefathers. But they denied him, so they surely will be hailed forth. So Elias came up to them and said, O oh my people, you know how honest and truthful the Prophet Elias is. Someone like him can never be a liar. Rather, he's guiding you to find the truth. And nobody wanted to accept Islam. So Elias السلام, decided to go to the king of Baalbek to invite him to Islam and to quit worshipping Baal. The king refused and commanded to kill the Prophet Elias. السلام. When Elias السلام, discovers that the king wants to kill him, his cousin Elias came up to him and said, Oh my cousin, what are you going to do now? He replied, I'm going to run away from this town and hide in a cave in Mount Kasyun so that Allah may guide me to the right path. So Elias tells him, wait for me, I'm going to come with you. So they run away before the soldiers come to kill him and hide in the cave. According to some narrations, they stayed in that mountain for 10 years until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala got rid of that king and a new king is in control right now. When they find out that there is a new king, they decided to go to Baalbek and introduce Islam to this king and told him that there is no God besides Allah Azzawajal, and that Baal is just a statue, that he's not going to help you, he's not going to harm you. So this new king was intelligent and was wise. He listened to the message carefully and subhanAllah his heart was open to Islam and decided to accept the message. Afterwards, all the people of the king became Muslims, except about 10,000. So, when the king realized that they're not going to accept Islam no matter what, he commanded to kill them all. And that's how the false god, Baal, was destroyed and not worshipped anymore. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the prophet Elias with other great prophets in Surah Al-An'am. Allah said, وَزَكَرِيَّا وَيَحْيَا وَعِيسَى وَإِلْيَاسِ كُلٌّ مِّنَ الصَّالِحِينَ and Zechariah, and John, and Jesus, and Elias, they were all of the righteous ones. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this little story. Assalamu alaikum.